Hey guys, Clem from Clem's Recipe Reviews and today is all about bread. Um, my friend and also loyal uh, fan, I guess you could say, Tess, uh, she suggested that I try out a bread recipe. You know, she saw that the cob recipe, she loves cobs, and she said, why don't you actually try and make the actual bread bowl as well? So I have actually taken up her suggestion and today we're going to try out Life as a Strawberries uh, Easy Crusty French Bread Recipe. I found this on Pinterest, um, you know, as you might know me, I'm a recipe addict, so I'm going through Pinterest, I'm going through Facebook, as well as just pretty much any bookstore I run into, I go into the, the cookbook aisle. Uh, but with bread, I've actually never made bread from scratch. So when I started looking and researching recipes, you know, I even went into Julia Child's Mastering the Art of French Cooking and that those recipes were actually quite extensive and I thought for my skill level in bread making, maybe try out a few loaves first and um, then we could hit Julia Child and, and test that recipe out. But also I thought with, um, with my viewers and, and people that are, ha are reading the blog, maybe they also are just in the same position as me where they might be a little bit nervous about trying out a, a complicated recipe. So I was I actually started looking around for easy recipes and that's when I stumbled upon Life as a Strawberries recipe, which I think has been pinned over 40,000 times on Pinterest and the reviews um, on her, her website itself and the comments seem actually pretty positive. So we'll go ahead and put it to the test and, and see how we go. The recipe calls for just a few simple ingredients. There's yeast, uh, all-purpose flour, a little bit of sugar, water, and a bit of salt. She also bakes the uh, bread in a Dutch oven, which I've seen a couple of recipes try that out. Um, so I'm, you know, I've got a Dutch oven. I've got almost the same one that she uses in her her blog, but in a different color. But anyway, I thought that seemed like a pretty interesting way to bake bread. So what I'm going to be looking for is, because this is supposedly an easy, crusty French bread recipe, and I'm half French, I'm, I'm very picky about my bread. I, I really like something that's very crusty, but light in the middle, that's nice and airy, it's got quite a few bubbles in it. So I'm hoping that this recipe will actually come out just like that and, and be perfect. So here we go. Let's go ahead and try out Life as a Strawberry's Easy Crusty French Bread. proofing again for just a little over half an hour and that's what it looks like. 
which yeah it's risen a little bit again not too much though so I'm a little bit worried but um, you know I guess we'll just see what happens I have had uh, the Dutch oven in the oven um, at 460 degrees Fahrenheit which is at just about I think 232 um, I think Celsius I'll have to double check and I'll put that in the show notes again um, and yeah so it's time to get the dough out and put it in the Dutch oven This bad boy has been in the oven for half an hour, so it's time to take the lid off and then put it back in uncovered. And I have to say, it smells so good in this kitchen. That is the big reveal. It's getting slightly golden brown. It hasn't really risen or anything, but um, I guess we'll see how it goes once it's um, been... I guess we'll see how it goes once it's put back in the oven uncovered. So bread is out of the oven. Um, as you can see, it's a beautiful golden brown color. It's actually pretty hard. It's still really hot, so um, I won't be able to hold it for very long, but it's actually not that big, which I guess is good if you're one or two people, but I'm really keen to actually cut it open and have a look on the inside and see if it's really that airy, bubbly, soft um, texture on the inside, but I have to let it cool first. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing with the second test, and that way we can actually put each one side by side and we can have a look and see if we need to do any improvements. Alrighty, so second uh, loaf is out. This is the first one, and this is the second one. As you can see with the first one, it's a nice, light uh, crust, golden crust. And if I could just get it to focus, there we go. Yeah, so nice and light and golden, but it's a little on the flat side from what I would prefer, whereas this one is really nice and dark brown. And it's actually a little bit, it's risen a little bit more than the first test. So let's go ahead and try them out. Alright, so let's just taste test the first one. Um, it's not really that crusty. It's got a crust, but it's not it's not breaking and it's not loud when I've when I've broken it into pieces. But taste is alright. It's a little bit doughy. started my own uh, version of this recipe or what improvements I would want to try um, with the easy crusty French bread by Life as a Strawberry. What I'm going to try is actually giving it more time to proof to see if that actually creates a more, um, I guess maybe lighter uh, of bread. Um, I found the first one to be a bit more spongy and there weren't that many bubbles in it or anything. Maybe it's because I overmixed. I don't know, but that's why this, there was a second test and the bubbles came out fine, but again, it was still, it wasn't like a really super crusty like and light and airy on the inside. So I've got, I've got it proofing right now. And what I'll do instead of just an hour of proofing, I will probably give it two hours and see how it goes. I'm giving it double the amount of time because it's also a bit cooler today um, than it was yesterday. It was, it's about actually 10 degrees Celsius cooler and it's a bit windy. So I've closed all the windows um, and so that way there's no drafts coming through and it's a nice ambient environment for the yeast to really work its magic and, and bubble up. So we'll see how that goes and we'll have a look at it. 
Alrighty, so I've made my loaf with um, letting it rise a little bit longer for about two hours. It still seems a bit dense and a bit doughy. I don't know if you can see that, um, but it's got some nice little air bubbles in it. Let's go ahead and give it a try. So I've done my own improved or tried to improve um, the Life is a Strawberries bread recipe just because I thought it's crusty, it's easy, but it doesn't give you the same texture as, say, a, a French baguette or a French bread that you would buy at the shop or at a patisserie or something like that. So I tried by letting the dough rise. So then it got me thinking, well, what if, what if it's the flour? Because the recipe calls for all-purpose flour, or what's known as plain flour here in Australia. So I've actually gotten some bread flour, and I'm going to try the recipe again using an extended amount of time um, proofing it, as well as using the bread flour. So in other words, with bread flour, bread flour is, has a higher protein content, apparently, um, so that what that causes is higher protein and higher gluten. So what happens is with the higher protein, apparently it actually rises and it is a, more and is a bit lighter um, in texture as well. So we'll give it a go and we'll see if that actually makes this really the ultimate crusty and light and fluffy French bread. All right, so I've done another test and I'm talking in a very low voice because it's 10 o'clock at night and the hubby's already in bed, but this has just come out of the oven. This is with the bread flour. Um, it's a little bit, I guess, puffed up, but the size is a bit smaller than what the others were. And, uh, realize it didn't really rise as much as the other loaves did as well so I'm going to go ahead and cut it open and we'll have a look and see if it tastes any better than the other ones or if it's light and crusty or if it's an epic fail. Alright so time to try the bread cool down. I've let it sit overnight pretty much because it was really late last night when um, I got it out of the oven and I was a little too tired and I wasn't going to wait for it to cool down. Anyway. So let's go ahead and try this recipe with the bread flour and see how that went. So I can already tell just by cutting through it that it's really dense, like incredibly dense. And yeah, there's like, there's a lot of bubbles, but it's actually quite thick. Um, and by the looks of it, it's going to be really dense compared to the other ones. Not as light as the other breads, which is kind of astonishing considering this is made with the flour that most people recommend you use when you bake bread. Um, the texture's not bad. It's really chewy though. It's like, it's actually hard to chew. So, what am I gonna do? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this recipe as is. It's it's good. The taste, the flavor's good, everything. The texture for me personally is not all there. Um, I think it's a good staple recipe for bread. I would though recommend actually letting it rise a little bit longer and stuff. But I'm gonna keep testing out with the bread flour just to see if maybe I could get it to to that point of that really light and airy flavor instead of a you know a, a thick and almost slightly, I guess, rubbery texture that some of the breads had that um, I tested out, but give it a shot. Let me know what you think. See if you've got, if you've got any suggestions on what we could do to, to improve this recipe, you know, keep it, still keep it simple, but, you know, make it a little bit more like an actual French bread. Let me know. Send me an email through my website or, you know, write a comment in, in YouTube or even on my Facebook page. Anyway, that's it for now for this episode of Clem's Recipe Reviews, and until the next